So tonight I'm going to attempt something I'm going to call Delirious Hannibal Review. Delirious because it's past 3 a.m. in the morning and I'm super tired. And Hannibal Review because I'm just going to stream of conscious say what I thought about tonight's episode. No script, no preparation, just basically all my thoughts jumbled together. First of all, man, they threw the word love around like really casually in this episode. Like, that was, that was like crazy blatant. Like, we got, we knew Hannibal and Will were, all, were in love already. Like, that's not a surprise. But dang, I didn't expect them to just come out and use the actual word. Most shows don't. That's why this show is better than all the other shows. Well, one of the reasons. Really cool shots included that really neat sequence where there was like Will was hallucinating them in Hannibal's office, but it was through like a like a crackly glass filter, so it was all distorted. That was awesome. Will like reversing out of the chapel and then like walking into blood was pretty awesome. It was a good shot. I liked that. Um I loved the 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 firefly thing, both the actual little fireflies that went around at Castle Lecter and afterwards the firefly body man person. That was awesome. I like that tableau. I like it when Will makes murder tableaus. I feel I feel weird about that, but I like that. Um what else? What was awesome in this episode? So much was awesome in this episode. Will's like, no big deal, I'm just gonna like I'm just gonna do the Hannibal thing and like be creepy and sneak up on people and then make cryptic remarks and then like coerce them into killing other people through my actions. No bigs. Also Jack was in this episode. I don't really care that much. People are really into Potsy and I'm just meh. Potsy and Jack, whatever. It's a thing. They were there, I guess. Will and Hannibal stuff was so good. Also, what the, what the fuck was with that dinner scene? That was like simultaneously the funniest and most horrifying scene. Like, he's just like, Psh, I speak to the temple, and then, and then. I lost my train of thought. And then he sits down and he's like, that maybe that was impulsive. And I'm like, God damn it, Hannibal, God damn it. And then, like, Bedelia puts that guy, God, the guy, like, laughing to himself about being blind with the fucking ice pick in his head. Oh, that was disturbing, right? That was disturbing. Um, and then, like, Bedelia comes over and takes it out, and Hannibal's just all, technically, you killed him. He's like, not it. That one's on you. Nah, 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 nah. God, Hannibal, you're such a dick. That's why this, That's why we love you. That's why the show is so good. The, like, the shampooing scene, right? Where, why is that so tense? Why was that so, like, dramatic? I mean, it's just hair washing, but damn, that was like, I'm like, oh, God, oh, God, what's going to happen? It's like, no, he's just shampooing her hair. Well, they talk about stuff that could potentially get her killed, but, you know, whatever. She's taking a lot of, like, stepping into his personal mental space. I hope she knows what she's doing. I like to think so. I feel like Bedelia is very on top of her shit, but it's hard to tell this season. Oh, my God. Everything, every scene with the two of them is just like you are waiting for it to explode into violence. Like, it's, it's just like a, a fuse. It's, it's all waiting to happen. I'm really curious as to what's, where that story's gonna end up. And Shio was in this episode, and she was cool. I like her as a new character. I hope they do interesting stuff with her. I've seen in the promos that, like, her kissing Will in one scene, and I don't want her to just be another love interest. That kind of would bore me. But I'm glad they didn't kill her off. I was kind of worried when they went to the one commercial break that they had killed her off. And I'm glad they didn't because that would have been a waste, like a really bad waste of a good character that they just introduced. Also, snails in this episode. The the official hashtag from the De Laurentiis company was hashtag snailed it, which is remarkably cheesy for this show, but okay. They get it. They know where the 
fandom sense of humor is at. I'll give them that. Which makes me just wonder what what are snails metaphorically in this series? Because like this is the second time we've seen them. It seems like the first time they were all about like the cycle of like eating and being eaten and life and death and stuff. So I wonder if they're meant to come back around to that because this is how Hannibal got started um, with his stuff about about eating people. The background stuff was interesting. The like, you know, him, him and his sister, and how that got started. I, I'm glad they were kind of vague about it. And it sounds like, so he like, what happened? He he saw the guy murder and eat his sister, and then he finished eating his sister, or he just saw the guy murder the sister and then he ate the sister. Hannibal, I mean. Um, unclear if the murderer was also cannibalizing her or if it was just Hannibal. Either way, like, I like the implication that he was still kind of a little bit messed up to begin with and, like, he didn't have a normal person reaction to this in any way because it makes him, I think it makes him more interesting if this isn't, like, the sole starting point for him. So I thought they were nicely vague with that, at least compared to what I've heard is his origin story in the books, which sounds like kind of really blatant and anti-heroish and just like completely removes all the mystery and all the like interest and, and scariness of him as a villain so so kudos for them for not going completely that way i liked people's scars will's belly scar and you could see jack's neck scar which was really cool and the promo looks like we're gonna get to see everybody else's messed up scars and body deformations and etc from the, the Hannibal carnage from the end of last season. And I'm also really curious for the next episode, like, what the heck Will was doing in those eight months between he w wakes up in the hospital and then... Uh, he wakes up in the hospital and then eight months later he's in a church. And what happened in there? Like, where... what did he do? Did he? It looks from the promo. It looks like he moped around Hannibal's kitchen for eight months, but I'm, I'm. That's probably not the entire eight months. It could be. On this show, who knows? Um. Was the, I'm sure there was other cool stuff. I like. I tweeted a bunch, during the show. Let me go check my Twitter. What did I tweet? Snails. Nailed it, hashtag. That may have been impulsive. Oh my god, the scene in the opening, right? When, um, when Hannibal is just mopey, and he's all like, meh, it was nice to see Will again. Hmm. I love him so much. Seriously, they, like, they talked about it, like, beginning and end about, like, how love is like this uncontrollable feeling and that he he does not get a say in and that that's how he feels about Will and they related it to like his sister and also to the feeling of like forgiveness and betrayal and man I'm excited for more of this show this is such a good show I love this show so much I love this show so much Good night.